Along with free agency, trades are always part of the deal, especially when cap space is an issue. And the San Jose Sharks and Carolina Hurricanes just made a deal. Gil Martin of Locked On NHL here, joined by J.D. Young of Locked On Sharks, Jared Ellis of Locked On Hurricanes, the Hurricanes acquiring defenseman Brent Burns from the Sharks. Uh, some cap relief going to San Jose. Uh, J.D., let's start with you. Are you happy with the way this deal went down and the benefits it brings to the San Jose Sharks? Yeah, I mean, the, the Sharks had so much money tied up in their defensive core between um, Burns, between Vlasic, and then Eric Carlson. Uh, Vlasic and Eric Carlson, of course, have no movement clauses, so they can't be moved without attaching an asset or them approving. But Burns, you could actually get something back. And for the Sharks having now you know, a little over $5 million in cap space that they didn't have a couple of days ago, I think it's going to be a, a huge relief for them to try to be able to try to assess other weaknesses on the roster right now. And as far as what they got back besides the cap space, uh, where, if at all, do those, you know, do the players fit in? Uh, I mean, you know, the Sharks have, they've been trying to work on their goalie pipeline for a while. Um, you know, as, as far as, uh, Steven Lawrence, we'll kind of see where he fits in with the team at, at this point right now. But for them, the big win is just clearing some cap space and, you know, freeing up that cap space to try to go do something else with as the, they try to transition from this old core to try to, to a newer core. Jared, uh, what do you think Brent Burns can add to the Hurricanes lineup this year uh, at his age and at this stage in his career? To be completely honest with you and blunt, I'm not sure what he can really add at this point. I know he, I believe, had what 54 points yep. last year on a bad not so Sharks great <laughs> Shark team. So that, that's not bad. And you were talking a little bit, you know, how he averaged some career highs and whatnot. At, at this stage in his career, that's really good. But he is 37 years old, and Will he be able to replicate that this season? Because guys get up there in age, regardless of the sport, you know, they tend to fall off quickly. So he'll likely be paired with Jacob Slavin on that top pair. So that'll help him out when it comes defensively. But this is one I'm not a huge fan of this trade. Uh, uh, me and JD were talking. I figured it'd probably be a second or third round pick. Uh Prospect wise, I wasn't really sure, but I was honestly thinking it'd be Martin Natchez that we'd be giving up because he had a pretty mediocre season last year, to be completely honest. And I kind of figured he'd be on the move and they had just extended Stephen Lawrence. So I kind of figured he would be kept around. He's a really good bottom six piece. You're getting a great player and a great young player. He's a great guy on the ice and off the ice. So the Sharks got a winner with that one. And you mentioned Slavin. What kind of chemistry do you think they would have? How do they complement each other in the lineup? It'll be – that's one I think we're going to have to wait and see to see how these guys play together because Slavin, everyone knows he's probably one of, if not the best defensive defenseman in the league. He's not really an offensive guy. So he's going to need a guy with some offensive capability with him, and Brent Burns does bring that. So that's a good sign. But ever since letting Dougie Hamilton walk in free agency, it's kind of been a bit of a revolving door there on that first pairing with Slavin. So we'll just kind of have to wait and see on a lot of this stuff. And, and J.D., as far as the power play goes, can you see Burns contributing on the power play in – Carolina what does he bring to the table yeah I mean we know the Carolina Hurricanes like a lot of point shots and Brent Burns led the league in point shots for by players so you think that's gonna be a natural fit there with, with their their style um and you know going back to like the offense I mean Brent Burns still provides a lot of offense his defense has always been not what he's known for so and you know the past couple of years it's been kind of a revolving door to try to find the perfect partner for him so I think you know with him having an actual defensive defenseman as a potential partner, we might see a nice little resurgence from Brent Burns where it allow him to kind of focus on the offense. He's not having to play the 27 minutes a night um, on a bad Sharks team, having to do too much. So, 
you know, this might actually, and when it comes to, to Brent Burns himself, he is, takes care of his body like nobody else. He hasn't missed a game in 10 plus years. You know, I know he, he's th- just turned 37, but you know, like you, he is an act- absolute monster when it comes to taking care of his body and he's going to be there all 82 games. He's going to play, you know, 24, 25, 26 minutes a night for all 82 games. So um, yeah, I, I think it might be a nice actually fit with, with, you know, with Slavin who can play the defensive role and let Brent Burns kind of do his offensive freelancing that he's uh, known to do. JD, why don't you tell our viewers and our listeners where they could find the podcast and where they could find you on social media? Um, you can find the podcast, of course, wherever you get podcasts at Locked on Sharks. And you can find me on Twitter at my fry hole. All right. And Jared, how about you? You can find the show wherever you get your podcasts and on Twitter and Instagram at LO underscore hurricanes. And myself on Twitter at Jared Ellis underscore 96. And I do think I speak for all of us. It's going to be weird seeing Brent Burns in a different jersey. That first the Sharks home opener against the Canes, October 14th. Mm. Something, something to look forward to. And it will be strange not to see Brent Burns in teal. Gentlemen, thank you so much. And uh, definitely be keeping up with things the rest of the day.